tapes is when Moaz, and this is in regards to Bank of America, apparently unrealized losses on securities rose to $131.6 billion. So when it comes to all the fails to deliver, the shares not yet purchased, and all the numbers that are sort of just floating out there, a lot of apes think that there's going to be something that's going to crack in the market, and it's going to crack soon. This ape says whenever CEO Adam Merrim makes a massive tweet, my lights get removed over time. It's like they want to make it seem like he's not as big as he is. Like we aren't as big as we are, AMC. Now throughout the entire AMC journey since I became a part of this play, there's always been weird glitches going on, whether it's a glitch on a certain website where the data is wrong and it's said that it'd be a glitch, or even across social media, there's also been weird things going on. But when it comes to using Twitter, let's just say, using X, has anyone else particularly noticed that if you like, say, Adam Aaron's tweets, the likes go away? Comment yes or no down below. This post says AMC linked Highcroft mining faces, illicit short selling manipulation worries the CEO warns. And this is in regard to Highcroft mining, the mining company that AMC purchased a large stake in a year or so back. Now, this was identified by trade and balances concerning its shares. So even if nothing else comes about this, at least there's starting to finally be some more awareness around what's potentially going on here. Because Highcroft, for good reason, has reason to believe that we are witnessing short selling manipulation right in front of our eyes, and the CEO is definitely concerned about that. Comment down below just out of curiosity if you currently own any shares of Highcroft Mining. I considered buying a bunch of shares a little bit back, but haven't since. Comment down below if you have Highcroft in your portfolio as of right now. This ape says it's hard to watch, but this level of crime is unsustainable. The billions of AMC shares they have created in just the last few days is huge. This is going to blow up in their face. It feels like we are getting closer and closer to a pivotal point in this entire play. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, it feels like things are starting to heat up again. This ape says here is AMC's FTD data next to Apple's FTD data. On 714, for example, there were 10.9 million AMC FTDs and a total of five Apple FTDs. Yes, you heard me right, five, versus almost 11 million. AMC has 519 million shares outstanding, Apple is 15.7 billion. Inexcusable, we need answers, and we would like them now. This ape says nobody knows for sure what will happen in the stock market, so everyone needs to do their own DD. Very well said, I totally agree. Those who have studied AMC closely though, see it's shorted more than any other company, and the company is improving fundamentally. In many ways it is. That is not a recipe for success for shorts, especially given the price is so low. Now what's crazy about this statement is that you don't need to be a stock market genius just using basic logic. I would have to say that he's completely right and that I agree. Let's do some quick AMC SWIFT calculation. I like this. 10,474 cinema screens times 225 seats per person. 90% screen occupancy, 4 showings per day, 4 days per week. 5 weeks errors run, $20 a ticket, 43% AMC's take. That equals 1.4 plus billion. Get ready, A. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.